Hi, I, I started this demonstration yesterday, but I've had second thoughts about it, so I, this was going to be part two, but I, I, I've, I've had a complete rethink about this. I've done this in watercolour before. This is a demonstration. It was a, a French farmhouse cottage in, at Karnak. Uh, this is the edge of the, the, that massive megalithic site down there in South Brittany. But I, I'm, the sky I'm not so happy with, so I'm going to do it similar to the to the, the, the oil painting that I worked to the watercolour from. So I'm going to have a, a basically light, cloudy, bright sky, but very little blue if any. So I'm going to go over that as quickly as I can with with um, some slightly greys and, uh, and as this dries it'll uh, my tree there I've done this several times and I can't be take too too long on this because I've got to go to Denby's this afternoon and I'm doing a sit there's a stewarding our exhibition there so if you're out and about in that part of Surrey please call in and say hello There's some of that, that darker blue will show through, I hope. The thing about acrylic is you can change things very, very quick. I'm not using any medium, I haven't got any knocked up. And the medium I would use would be PVA glue with a bit of water mixed in with it to dilute it, it's a good glaze. It doesn't slow things down, but it, it does help the flow. And you don't need to buy any expensive flow mediums. Let's put a bit of burnt sienna in there. Oops. Just change the, change the colour. Remember, if you're using acrylic, don't let any paint dry on your brush. Keep them nice and clean wet, moist. And greens, I'm going to use greens here mixed from black and lemon yellow and modified with a bit of red. Just get in some different colour. I've got some nice blue. Blue on the horizon there. Let's not dry that bit there. Right, it's got a bit of grey in there now, but I'll use some light red, a bit of ultramarine, just to show some a bit more blue. Just a bit of a bit of dark here and there. See, it's lo lovely working with acrylic. It's, uh, but because it dries so quick, you have to work quickly. But it's uh, it's good good fun. We can probably put a bit of blue in here and there. Let's just try. Just just a little bit showing through. These uh, travel easels, um, portable studios, are really, really good. Oh, oh, that's nice. nice and light on the horizon. And we'll get in some almost white, but not quite. You, need, you do need colour in your clouds. A bit of red, light red in the mix. Just to just to warm up some sky areas. A bit more grey.
are just clouds floating across the sky here and a nice bit of pure white I think on the down here. Bit of imagination in the sky there. Soften a little bit. Right, put my brush in the water and I'll do a bit of um, bit of distance, a uh, bit of uh, blue and vermilion there, just don't want this dark, just just to show a little bit, a bit stronger than that. Just blend of the trees there, just to give an impression of distance in there. Okay, that's, that's that'll do for that. Right, let's go in with um, another brush here. We'll put in some uh, some green, and yellow. I'm going to invent some light, so we'll have the light coming from over that direction. So let's just put in some light there. Bit of sienna in there as well. The light. Right now the dark, the, the black and the lemon yellow. Bit of red. So I get some colour. Mm -hmm. Now I want a nice dark in there for the shadow, but I, I want to counter change that there against a, a lighter landscape, a uh, more. dark on that so but the light red and black is quite a good warm mix and with a bit of lemon yellow in it you get some lovely 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 range of greens dark and a bit of impressionist there lovely okay now I can counter change the lens the, 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 the field going across here so we just put this In there. Okay, well, uh, right. That's that's quite nice. I'm gonna put some darker bits in here as well. Now oh. so I can put dark lights over over these. Uh, colours here, all these dark passages, so they're just a little bit of it will show through. Now this is a bit of water I decided I'd put in as a, like a, a pond. Much bigger tree over here, so lots of shadow in there. Oh, nice, nice colour. 
brush or this losing hair is like going out of fashion. This very cheap Chinese brush is very, very good for the sort of a randomness. I can, if I do it solid here, I, I can put in some, some sky back. Let's get some lighter. Oh. Just let that uh, settle down, uh, dry off a little bit. And this is this is a bit of shadow area. and light in here. Right, let's uh, put in some dark in this area over the stuff I did yesterday which I'm painting over. Get the, the dark, the, the greys, the cool greys in, in here, in the, in the shadow area. It's I've got to do, I'll do the house in a second. Right, this is just the uh, the, the grey area. Oh, all grey area. Let's do a bit of a, of a house here. Um, just just look at it for a second. Decide where the shadows are going to be on that house. That is a. Uh, hmm. Right. Well. Uh, Put the, uh, the way you put on, you can you can always change. So we'll have a the roof, the roof, as I recall, was a slate sort of grey, but. Let's do a bit, bit of red. Right, that's just a bit of a building there, so that would be in shadow, that would be more light, so we'll... Uh
slightly bluer. Perspective right. Okay. Right, now let's let's clean my brush. Let's uh, put in some the wall. Similar to the sky, I think. And then dirty it up a bit. To get close, I can't do this far away. And as, I, as this colour hardens in a few minutes, I'll go over and make it dirtier to rough it up a bit. Just building up a, sur a surface, a texture. But you've got to maintain the counter change in order for the light against dark all the time. Well, that's, big, that's further back that cottage there, so we'll put that back in the light there, I think. Now um, I'm going to I'm going to work on on this now, this uh, the foreground. So a bit of uh, lemony sort of yellow. Let's get some light on that horizon there. Using a, the, one of these old these Chinese brushes, they're sparse in hair, and you get this nice hair lines that, that represent the grass. Oh. And then you can mix in uh, some uh, ochre with that. Now that. I'm coming up the darks now. It's it's back and forward. That's why these things take longer than watercolors. You keep going over and over and over to create a create these impressions. But I've got, I'm really going to have to get some burnt umber or find some burnt umber because that makes this lovely shortcut to that sort of colour, that sort of shadowy wall. But you've got to, you've got to vary you vary all this. You can't. Do the same stuff all the way across. Now I'm sort of banging the brush here just to. But this is where I want the bright, the brightness. Nice. Let's get a nice lemon yellow. Just. Put some trees or oh, shrubs on shrubs, mm, brush. Don't really call it really, just foliage, bramble. As I remember, this was just a just a meadowy sort of field, but the one that kept dark in there. So put some light back in there. Still a little bit damp there. Need to need to scumble over that. 
drag it. Must say scumbag, drag, drag your brush over, brushes over it just to soften and get a bit of blending going going in. So burn 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 this yellow there in that mix. Change the, the colours here and there. And I can put shadowy, warm shadows, probably burnt sienna and ultramarine. And a bit of white, that'll make a nice shadow. Let's just get that. I'll do, I can detail all this very, very quickly. All right, let's so burnt sienna, a bit of blue. So we can just put those in there. This is uh, the bank of this pond that I'm going to the line. I can I'll put in some rigor work in this. <coughs> but I need to put some more air back in that and I want to change that that there. And let's, uh, let's slightly blue these things. Just I'm doing that to separate and put a bit of dark on that horizon, just so that the the field across here I can make lighter. They won't show. If you, your tones are too close, they won't, they won't register really. And plenty of blue in there. Okay, that's it. And put a bit of shadowy, shrubby stuff there. Oh, let's just put the shadow colour in, in here. Blues. And then we want some dark along, along there. So blue, dark red, or light red. So it's a dark red. I just so as I do this, I'm putting in, I'm dragging down the reflections. I'm not painting a portrait of this, I'm not doing anything exact. I'm just making some art, as I like to call it. I'm not naming, trying to, not to name things. I think that's beginning to show up. Now look. Oh, we'll go back with some more blue. Now that's just a bit too heavy in there. But I want that shadow in there, and I can then highlight some highlights. Okay, coming on. Let's uh, right. Well, let's do a little bit of work on the house, and a bit of bigger work, and we'll see where we go from there. Just to finish up. Right. Let's get some. Nice light. So that bit's in the in the shadow. Oh, not in the shadow. It's coming out of the shadow. So we'll put. Oops. I will do more watercolors. I, I, in case you're a bit worried about about it but I I love doing these different things Right. 
I love just making this look a bit, a bit rough. Just rough it up a bit. Right now, I need to put. I'll put up a bit of a bush around around the sides of that because the 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 edge. I, I like I like that to be be white there, but it, it won't show unless I put it against a darker background. Right, um, a bit of a small, small brush. Uh, don't want to do. Really worn out this one, so I'm going to put in a bit of a, a bit of a tree in here. So I can verticalise that line there. Right, uh, rigger, let's uh, see. I won't use my best rigger, I'll use the older rigger. Do water, let's. Uh, so we want some, uh, some sort of oakery <coughs> stuff there. dark. Just put some of some branches in here. Do black with these, it's just so they'll show up a bit. Mm. Oh, let's change that a bit there. A bit some... No, that's gone wrong there. Go back over there. I'm going to put in some. Some lights and some, some lights back there, um, because it's uh, it's just a little bit too solid, a bit too too much of a. I can paint back over those. It's just. Some air back into this. This gives some high high spots to uh, to drag over. Light back in the, in the underneath the the uh, weight of the leaves leaves. Right, let's uh, put a green in there. Now that's where the dark, the, the, the dark foliage is uh, there. Put some red in there. Oh, 
こいんじゃねレッドは非常に良いミックスグリーンです。マイクスもオリヴィー。Go back to the rigger. If I can find it in my great big water pot. I like it, I use a very big water pot. If you want to see the mess of my table, I'll show you. There's my big pot with the brushes. All my spare brushes. Look at that, look. And I've thrown hundreds away over the years. And they finally give up the ghost, but but don't um, be too hasty to throw old brushes away because they they do have other lives. Uh, right, that's a right, let's just get out. Lines, but how it branches back in there. I'm not really going to show. I'm using a very dark grey rather than the black now. Just showing a few. Just go to right, let's put in some. Uh, in here. <coughs> Just want to brighten that up there, on that top there. Right, that wall still looks a little bit iffy, doesn't it? It's not quite uh, straight. Let's uh, also the, the dark. That's better. I'm not paying much attention to the house really. I, I'm more concerned with getting texture like like that. That that I quite like. So we're going to do some more of that. Uh, I'll just we'll just show some uh, some light green. Just Some light coming from the other side of that tree. 
All right, let's uh, get our nice lights on here now. Let's drive over. Softening. So that's what I wanted to show, to show up, yeah, uh, let's go, yeah, merging, blending, taking the sting out of those, those darks a little bit. So you're just opening them up. You can, of course, work and work and work on all this until you're blue in the face. There comes a time where you have to have to think, well, that's it. I can't do any more. I'm just, I'm just pouring paint on paint on paint like that. Uh, I want to do some detail though in the foreground here. Just not a lot. Just to. This sort of thing. Just just to give an impression that there's there's something going on. Just bring my vigor in now. Not doing anything particular really, just just roughing up the foreground with the rigger. Just making it a bit uh, random looking. So here's our light. Now uh, um, let's go back with a, a knife just to Just add a bit of texture, different technique, just to ease any monotony. Got a nice solid feel to it now because it's all waterproof. So it's on um, a failed watercolour. Well, you might think that if I show you the original watercolour, you might think it's better than than this acrylic, but, but you, there's no limit to what you can do with your paints. You're only limited by your own, own imagination. And if you wanted to, you could always put in a, a few poppies. Just relieve all that green and stuff. That would have been quite hard to do with a brush. Uh, I'm going to put this in a mount in a minute. Not very subtle, is it? But I don't mind. Let's just lighten some up. I'm going to scrap this uh, membrane now. It's getting a little bit careworn. Let's put some red through there. Oh, it's just catching the high spots now. My little bit of poppies. Oops. Go back over that. That's didn't work out very well there.
bit of light on there, I think. Probably already done that, I notice. Right, I'm going to let that go. I can't do much more to it. Otherwise, well, I could, but it'll take too long for a demonstration. So I'll put a signature on it. Hmm. That's quite hard to do, isn't it? Oh, wiggly, though. Got a mount, I'll just pull those out a little bit. And uh, just lift that up. Well, there we are. We've got a, we've got an acrylic painting. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll uh, zoom out first. All right now, I'll, I'll zoom in. Then I'll take you around what I've done. Now there's the, there's the tree. Let's go back into the depth of that. I'm using a painting knife over a rough surface. It hits and misses, and you can get some nice texture effects but there's my light catching clump of foliage trees distant trees there into the distance of the landscape by using blue and the poppies down the bottom here and I couldn't have been more simple with the poppies could I now have a look at the, the sky oh, well you can't really can't see it it does take, take you out of that if I bring this camera around a little bit you can see it's square, more square on. So there it is, a cottage, a Karnak cottage, it's, uh, South Brittany, uh, on the edge of the megalithic site. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you at Denver's this afternoon. Goodbye.